Hey guys, this is going to be my 21 through 24 week pregnancy update. I'm so sorry I have not been able to update lately. We have been really busy with a restarting school and just there's been stuff going on with our house. And Matthew's computer also took a crap on us and we got, finally got it fixed. So we are back at it and ready to get filming again. Back to the update. Symptoms for these past few weeks, some have been the same and there's a couple new ones as well. So one of the symptoms I've been having my whole pregnancy is morning sickness and I can finally say that it's started to die down a lot. I still take my medicine pretty much almost every day. Sometimes I'll skip a day or two, um, I mean just because I forget. Half the times I'm fine and the other half I have to take a pill because the morning sickness will creep up on me a little bit. Another symptom is acne that's still going strong. I'm just trying to <laughs> keep my sanity with it because I know it's just something that goes along with pregnancy but it's definitely not the greatest thing. A new symptom from these past few weeks is back pain. For as long as I can remember, I've always had a little bit of back pain in my lower back area, but in the past few weeks, it has gotten to the point to where it is sometimes unbearable, and there's just nothing I could do about it. I just have to relax and try to cope with it. And I think a lot of that has to do with the growing belly and, you know, the strain on my back. Another thing that's been hurting is my feet. Lately they have been getting really swollen if I stand on my feet for multiple hours and it just gets to the point where my feet hurt so bad that I just cannot stand anymore. The weight of my belly has definitely been noticeable in the past few weeks. My belly has definitely popped out which is so much fun since I didn't gain very much weight with Avery. The next symptom is super super strong kicks. This baby has been kicking me so hard in the past week or two. The baby is kicking me pretty constantly and very strongly, and at this point they're not painful, so I obviously don't mind. And last but not least, a new symptom that's been happening in the past week or so is rib pain. Baby is getting big and definitely up near my ribs. From what the ultrasound technician told us was that the baby's heart looked perfect and that she still wanted me to follow up with a cardiologist to look at the baby's heart in about a month just to be completely safe, but she said that she sees absolutely nothing and she was the one that found the heart condition that Avery had. She also told me that she wanted to do ultrasounds every month up until delivery just to keep an eye on the baby to make sure that nothing comes up in the next few months. But at this point, the baby looks healthy and is growing perfectly on track. And honestly, I could not be any happier. And one thing that the ultrasound tech had told us that was a huge weight off my shoulders was that if we did not have a complicated pregnancy with Avery like we did, she would say that the baby looks healthy and we, were, we could be on our way. And that made me so happy. At this point, I have nothing to worry about. Also, a new thing happening is that my appointments with my OB are now every two weeks, which makes it so real that this pregnancy is coming to an end soon. And that honestly almost makes me sad that, you know, I am I actually get to enjoy this pregnancy and it's almost over now. But I guess in the end I get a perfectly happy healthy baby so I guess no complaining here. Something I wanted to bring up and kind of ask about from you guys is that since I don't see my OB for another two weeks, if any other moms out there have been kind of as far along as me and noticed that your baby only kicks on one side. Baby Nella only kicks me on my right side, which I thought was kind of odd. Um, I'm assuming it's just because that's the baby's position. If you've experienced this and have asked your doctor about it before, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what your thoughts on this is. I've already googled it and a couple of people said that they've experienced this and it was completely normal, but there's always that bit of wonder. So I haven't stepped on a scale in a really long time and I won't see my OB for another two weeks so I will just update my current weight in my next pregnancy update. If you would like to see updated ultrasound pictures of the baby, make sure you go and follow us on Instagram. We post all kinds on there. I'll make sure to put all of our social media links down in the description bar below. 
Now that's pretty much it for this update. I'm going to show you guys my belly and I will see you guys next time. So this is my 24 week belly from the front. And this is from the side. You can definitely see my hernia still popping through in here. At 25 to 28 weeks, your baby is continuing to grow in your body. At 28 weeks, your uterus is now at least eight centimeters above your belly button at the time. At 25 to 28 weeks of pregnancy, the baby weighs in between one and three quarters and two and a half pounds. You should feel the baby move very regularly at this point in the pregnancy as well. The heart is fully developed at this point and the baby's just working on gaining weight and the neurological development of the baby is continuing to grow. You might also notice during your clinic visits that the baseline heart rate starts to decrease a little bit as you go through the second and third trimesters. The normal heart rate is in between 110 and 160 beats per minute. At 29 to 32 weeks, the baby weighs in between two and a half and three and a half pounds. The baby at this point has reached what we call viability, which means it has the capability to survive. It's continuing to get bigger and stronger. It also is starting to practice breathing. And the way a baby breathes in utero is it breathes in and out amniotic fluid. The baby's lungs are getting ready to exchange oxygen. And the baby's still moving around, but it's, it's running out of room. So it may not have as big of movements at this time, but you'll still be feeling about five movements an hour, except for when the baby's sleeping. Your baby at 33 to 36 weeks is actually fairly large at this point. The baby can be five to six pounds or even bigger in some pregnancies at this point. Babies also at this stage may start to turn into the head down position to get ready for birth, but not all babies do at this stage yet. All its organs are functioning well, it's breathing well, but it still needs time to practice breathing and it still is going through a physiological process of making sure the lungs are fully developed. Babies that are born prematurely at this stage tend to do very, very well, but they're still not fully grown. They're still getting a little bit more lung development, a little bit more brain development. They tend to do very well, but we hope to keep them in a little longer if we can. However, should you go into labor after 36 weeks, we don't do anything aggressively to try to stop you because babies do so well at this point. At 37 to 40 weeks, the baby's position is usually set and the majority of babies are in the head down position. So when you come into your office visits, we will feel to see if the baby's head is down. If for any reason that we're not sure, based on feeling on your abdomen, uh, we'll do a quick ultrasound and make sure that the baby's head is down. 
if the baby is in the breech position, there's still a chance that the baby can flip spontaneously. But options at that point are to talk about a version, which is manually rotating the baby. And if the baby does not turn by the due date, then to talk about scheduling a cesarean delivery. It is important to keep track of the baby's movements at this point. You should feel the baby move 10 times in every two hours. Every single movement or motion counts, so it doesn't necessarily have to be something very forceful. You'll notice that the baby's movements will take on a more slow motion as opposed to forceful movements. You shouldn't notice the frequency of the baby's movements slow down uh, as much as just the tone of the movement. 